This library video will help you with in-text citation using the APA style 7th edition. When you refer to another person's ideas in your work, you can either paraphrase or quote it. Paraphrasing involves putting the idea in your own words. It is best to paraphrase sources rather than directly quoting as it shows you understand the content and allows you to fit material to the context of your paper and writing style. Here is part of a journal article. To paraphrase this text, I will put it in my own words. Like this. Successful student actively participating in class. See how my version uses different words but keeps the idea I want to use. You also need to link from the paraphrased idea to the original source using what is called an in-text citation. In APA style, an in-text citation using the parenthetical format begins with the author's name and then the date of publication. When there are two authors, we give the name of both authors with an ampersand between them. When there are three or more authors, we give the name of the first author and abbreviate the others to et al, meaning and others. For more information, see section 8.17, number of authors to include in in-text citations in the APA Publication Manual 7th edition. This journal article was written by Joanne Jaworski, Rosemary Weaver, and Nabil Ibrahim. It was published in the year 2000. The in-text citation is written with the author's names and the date of publication as shown. A quote uses the same words as the original text within double quotation marks. Enclosing quotes using double quotation marks applies for direct quotes of fewer than 40 words. For more information, see sections 8.26 short quotations and 8.27 plot quotations of the APA Publication Manual 7th edition. Here's how to quote this text. And the in-text citation for a quotation would look like this. When quoting, include the authors, date of publication, and the page number. In summary, a paraphrase is in your own words. An in-text citation for a paraphrase includes the authors and date of publication. A quotation has the same words as the original source. An in-text citation for a quotation includes authors and date of publication and also includes the page number and the quote in double quotation marks. When quoting or paraphrasing, you can also use the narrative format. This is where you mention the authors as part of your sentence. Here you do not need to include them inside the brackets of the in-text citation as shown. Place the date directly after the authors. If you use a direct quotation, you need to include the page number at the end of the quote. For more information, see Paraphrases and Quotations, spanning sections 8.23 to 8.36 of the APA Publication Manual 7th edition. Your reference list should be headed References, Capitalised, In Bold and Centred. For each source you have referred to in your writing with an in-text citation, you need a matching entry in your reference list. Jaworski, Ku, Monash University. Your references should be in alphabetical order of the first author in your reference list. Double space all reference list entries. Use a hanging indent for all references meaning that the first line of each reference is flush left and subsequent lines are indented. For more information on how to format your reference list, see section 9 of the APA Publication Manual 7th edition. The APA Referencing Style Guide is available on the library website. For more information, please contact the library.